Hi there, it's Kevin with RogueDeckBuilder.com here with a real cool thing that was shared on my Facebook feed by one of my, my Facebook friends that calculates your Planeswalker points and breaks it down into, you can look at your win-loss rate in tons of different categories. Like you, you can filter it through your limited or your constructed or even modern versus standard or even if you have pro points or have played in like Grand Prix. It will even break that down. So let me just show you how to do that. Now this is a little bit buggy. There is like a little, there's a lot of what's called unknown opponents. It's been like if you look at some of my more recent events, there's a lot of unknowns. I think that Wizards website is, is having problems with newer players. But a lot of the older players, especially if you have a long history like I do, you'll be able to, to mat, even break this down against sp specific opponents. So let's just go through. So it's a little tool called Zam League, and or XM League, however he pronounces this. And you go to this, I'll have this in the description. Here's the, the website that you'll type in. And so just follow these instructions here. I'll have a step-by-step -step way to do it. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to log into your Planeswalker points. I've already done this. And you're going to go to your Planeswalker points history. And then you're going to come over here to this view. And it doesn't want achievements. So just go to events only. And this will filter through the, the achievements. It will take away uh, some of those. And then you're going to go over here and you're going to make a bookmark. So how you do this in Firefox, it will give you ways to do it in uh, Chrome, is you right click and you say bookmark this link and it will say where do you want to book this and name it. So I'm just going to put it in this new folder here. And then it's made a bookmark. So we're going to come back over to our Planeswalker points. And since we've already clicked it, we only want events only, we are going to open that bookmark now. So I've got it saved here. And this will expand all of the, the events. And then in Firefox, you can go Control-A and that select all. And then uh, Control-C, which is copy. And you come back over to the calculator here, and then you paste it right here. And then once you've got this, it will filter through all kind of this, these, these useless text here. You'll be able to submit. And if everything works correctly, this just will come up here and actually this is coming up different than previously but anyway it gives you a breakdown of all your matches and you can actually go and so we can go by format and you can uh, take a look at my format here so sealed I have a 71 percent uh, win percentage in sealed and uh, it says I've, I've played in 201 matchups you'll you'll notice that some of your matches aren't here I've played a lot more magic embarrassing as that may seem I played a lot more magic than than what's shown here but modern for example I'm 67 21 and 2 uh, with a 70 76 percent win record we have a booster draft I've, I have 196 out of 69 and 6 with a, a 73 percent win record and even casual constructed It'll break it down into casual, limited, uh, even in two at a giant. So there's some format breakdowns. And then you can go by event type. So you can look at my, my terrible <laughs> pro tour here. You can even you can break it down. But so Grand Prix have a 57% win percentage in Grand Prix. Um, I have in, in game days an 81%, in the Pro Tour qualifiers a 67% win percentage, etc, etc, etc. But what I really like about this is just some, some way to uh, break it down versus specific opponent. And you'll see that opponent I play the most since that Zach and I travel to a lot of uh, events together. Zach is, is he, he's the co-owner of Gone Rogue Games here in Richfield, U Utah. And so we actually end up playing in a ton of events is when we run events both of us are going to play in the events so it breaks it down here so you can see i have an 81 percent win percentage versus uh zach <laughs> so <laughs> hashtag blame zach if you think i'm i'm a bad player it's because i play against zach a lot and yeah anywho <laughs> so you can you can kind of use this to rub it in your friend's face if you're or you can actually see if you have a a bad win percentage against a particular person so i play against these guys these are all more, some of the more competitive players that i play against at my local game store and then you can just can hey look i'm a i'm a 20 and 0 versus the buy but you just you can just break it down here so anywho i just thought that was a neat little tool that you can use to kind of judge where you're at you can use this later on to see if you're improving or not so right now I can just go over my overall stats and I have a 73 percent win percentage in in magic and then if if a couple months down the road a year down the road I can recheck this and see if that's gone up or down 
And of course, this I play a lot of games in my local game store, which is kind of a newer local game store, so I'm sure that my, my stats are very padded because of that. But even if you go over to the event type, like the the if you look at like most of the game days are, are Grand Prix of 57%, and the the Pro Tour qualifier, which is actually a very competitive format, like a 67%. You can you can start judging based upon um, like if I do some more Pro Tour qualifiers, I think they're actually gone now. I think they're called PPTQs if we can find them. Uh, da, 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 da. But you can see my abysmal Pro Tour, a 5-10 and 10 record at my Pro Tour. A little bit of explaining to do with that. I ended up going 4-4 four and four day 1 to make day 2. And then day 2, I only won one match before I just started, you know, conceding. Like, like I just, I'd never officially dropped out of the tournament. So I lost a bunch of matchups after that just by, um, yeah, I... It, that was a, that was a fun experience. Uh, the basically after I went 0 and 3 on day two on the draft, uh, there was a there was a bar on site, which is never a good idea for someone that just wants to play some fun games of Magic and and socialize. It was really fun though day two with all the other people that were statistically eliminated, just playing some fun little matchups. But anyway, so yeah, just really good data. Like I'm a huge data person, so hopefully uh, Wizards doesn't shut down this website because we know they hate data. And, um, anywho, I just thought I'd share it with you before I go off on a tangent. That's how you do it. It's a really fun little tool. So shout out here to XM League or what, however he calls this, this site. And anyway, this, I'm going to try to get some more videos produced for, I'm going to, I'm after February, I'm going to set a schedule and I'm going to stick to that schedule, but I'm just way too busy until February. You're going to get scattered. Uh, videos off and on as time permits, but I'm, I, I will I will commit that after February we're gonna do a schedule. I'm gonna try to do a modern, a standard, a commander each week. I'll have a day specifically for those days, as well as twitching on Tuesdays and Sundays. But until until February, that's gonna be very sporadic. Speaking of Twitch, I'm gonna try to Twitch tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if I'm not there, I will apologize right now if that means that just something came up that i i couldn't get away from it's very typical right now with the holidays and being at the height of swim swim season uh with me coaching it, it's just something i can't 100 percent commit to with with consistent videos but as soon as that's over i'll try to get back more involved in community we have some very exciting things coming up i'm not going to announce it yet but i i'm hoping that it works out well for rogue deck builder we got some 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 high profile people that want to start being involved with Rogue Deck Builder. So, anywho, I hope you enjoyed this, this little tutorial. Again, I'll have all the links in the descriptions. This is Kevin with RogueDeckBuilder.com. Thanks for watching.